you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm gonna be going over what you need to be doing with your coins right now with Mud Heroes. Now, this plan doesn't just apply to today, it applies to probably from now until next week. I will keep you guys updated with a video similar to this. If you guys already know what to do in Madden, what to do in coins to staple on this channel, I do it about once a week to update you guys because I feel like it's, it's essential, right? If I make this video the first week now, and then I don't make it again in two weeks when most feared or whatever drops, then I'm just like not helping you guys. So that's why I like to make this video about twice, t once, one of each. What's doing Madden's like the overall objective, solos, uh, how to go about building your team right now. Then the coins is just more of a market coin buying aspect of it and how to be efficient with it. I like to drop this about twice a week, each one. So just so you guys know, keep you guys updated on why I make this video so much. Now, before we get into this video, guys, I just want to let you know what pretty much when we're going over. So we have the new Mud Heroes that just came out yesterday, our first big promo, as you guys know, our first real promo. And pretty much we're getting three to four drops of more players next week. So I'm trying to keep you guys updated on what to expect. And then I'll make this video again next week when everything does drop. So I can keep you guys updated after house rules and everything comes out, guys. But for the most part, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and I can get to see you guys at some point today. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you're going to below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that notification bell. And don't forget... This today is our last day of the daily giveaways, so I'm gonna be giving away 100,000 coins. All we gotta do is hit 600 likes on the video today. The like goal was 750. We did not hit it. We did hit them twice last week when we did this, but we have not hit them yet this week. So I'm lowering it down to 600. If we don't hit it, that's fine. I'll do this in the end. Well, most feared probably drops at some point in the next week or so. But for the time being, guys, don't forget go down below. Hit the like button. All you gotta do is comment down below 100k and you're entered to win. I randomized the comments. A guy named by the name of Patrick already won from last week, so there was a winner. And if you haven't already, like I said, subscribe to the channel, turn on that noty bell, boys. Now let's get into this video. So, my coin stack right now, I'm down about a million coins. Like I said, what I've been doing, I've been buying some players. The market has crashed pretty significantly, so I think it's a great time to pick up, especially some legend cards, because legend cards are very, very down right now. Now, I picked up Greg Olson. Greg Olson, I was going to show you guys the price, but I can't because he has a chem on him. Greg Olson was going for about 250 yesterday, so I picked him up real quick. One of the best tight ends in the game. Literally stacks up with Gronk, if not better. And he's only 250k-ish. Right now, I think he's actually 240. And then David DeCastro, best right guard in the game. Had to scoop him up. Look at that. All threshold blocking. So, he's a beast. Picked him up for... I did the collection, actually. I used my dollar pack where I got my free sidekick. And I put him into there to get the David DeCastro. I also picked up Mitch Morris. A lot of great Mud Hero cards can be afforded right now for very cheap, considering the point of the game. So before I get into what to do with your coins, let me give you guys a little tip on how to get your coins. If you haven't already, guys, please complete the level grind. People don't, people underestimate how much the level grind helps. It's not just the level. I got, I think, from level 50 to 60, like three to 300k, plus the power pass, which got me, let me sell Lawrence Taylor back for 350k at the time. So I got like close to 650, 700k just from leveling up to 60, of level 50 to 60. If you guys haven't completed even the level 50 yet, you guys want to get that done. I think the level grind from zero to 60 all the way gets you well over a million coins, well over a million coins with platinum cards, power passes, quick sells, free packs. Trust me, you guys want to be getting that done. Next, as far as coins. This isn't a great way to make coins, but I recommend getting this done because it will help save your coins. The Mutt Hero Solo Challenges. So in total, all the solos give you probably a grand total of maybe 20, 25k, 30k, somewhere between 20 and 30k if you play all of these. Now, the big thing is the milestone. So at the end of the tier two, you get a Nat Hero Fantasy Pack, which is going to give you and grant you one free Mutt Hero. And if you guys already know, they also announced there will be House Rules this Tuesday for another free Mutt Hero. So we're going to get two free Nat Mutt Heroes. So that, that means two things. First, the Mud Heroes might come down even more because they're going to be a lot more people getting them for free, so they'll be selling off their old ones. Second, that also means you don't have to buy Mud Heroes. So I'd recommend you start planning what you plan to pick. Don't worry, I will, come be, I will be coming out with a ranking video of my personal opinion on the best Mud Heroes to choose from that pack. I'll do a top 10. I'm not going to do a top 32 because a top 32 is kind of tedious, right? If they're, in the, if they're from 32 to 20 or even 32 to 10, you're probably not going to want those guys. Clearly, I put them at the end for a reason. The top 10, I feel like, is what matters. Those are, like, the guys that are interchangeable. You really could take most guys in that range, and you don't have to just, like, listen to me give you guys the rest. But remember, with those coming out, you guys are going to save... If you get, let's say, for me, let's say I took Saquon Barkley and Jalen Ramsey, that's probably going to save me, like, 600, 600, 600, 700K just in coins alone. So that's a great way to be efficient. Don't just buy them now. Wait till you get your packs. See what you want to build your team around, and once you have your NAT card, then go all in. Second... I don't think now's the time to be building your coin stack. I think it's time to be using it. Now, would I use it today ent entirely? Maybe not, but today is Legend Saturday, guys. So remember, Legend Fantasy Packs are coming out. Legends will come down even more. So you're going to want to be on top of the Legend market right now. And don't forget that 
they're also dropping more cards next week so don't don't like burst your whole bubble of coins right now definitely save some because next week we're getting a lot of more of the banger cards we're getting the fletcher cox we're getting the jalen ramsey the saquon barkley and plenty of other guys mitchell schwartz a lot of guys that i kind of really want for my team so kyle fuller so i definitely recommend you wait don't spend all your coins on the initial players that are coming out now for the legends as you guys can see i went over this in the market video so you will see that they are about 180k for the lowest ones right now guys like willie brown below 200k guys willie brown is a monster i don't know if i'll show mine chemed up here my willie brown with the lockdown chem has above 90 press above 90 zone above 90 man above 90 play rec with 87 speed six foot one he's very physical he somehow can when i get interceptions he's like a running back for some reason but the point being is that willie brown is one of the best uh, cornerbacks in the game because you have to understand that he hits all the thresholds so for like stefan gilmore he's really good at man and play rec He's not the fastest, but his zone's not too good, and his press is good. So Gilmore's right there, but his zone's not great. Willie Brown could play in the zone like a top corner. He could play in the man like a top corner. He could play in the run game like a top corner. He could do everything like a top corner. That is the beauty of Willie Brown. So I imagine today when Legend Fantasy Packs drop, Willie Brown could come down to about 180K, or you could try doing a set if you snipe some of the Legend pieces. Highly recommend Willie Brown as a pickup, especially with the lower tier of legends that are coming down right now. Guys like Anthony Munoz, best left tackle in the game. Yeah, they have David Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari can only pass block. He can't run block. Munoz can pass block the same, and he can run block. So Mud Heroes is kind of disguising the fact that the cards that from Mud Heroes that aren't the first drop wasn't really that great. So those cards are so hyped right now that all the other legends are going down in price. A guy like Shannon Sharp only 230k but greg olson goes for the same price so i wouldn't really recommend it but a guy like shannon sharp has went down quite a bit because greg olson and rob Gronkowski came out kevin away is the best hand in the game but you wouldn't know that because everyone's focused on mitch morris but kevin away is definitely better than mitch morris if you look the strength's only difference by one awareness by one and pass block protection by three uh, or four but then the rest his run blocking destroys mitch morris he's a he's pretty much a threshold pass blocker and run blocker if you properly can power him up mitch morris will not be that so for that reason alone, Kevin Mawai is going on, people aren't really look up, looking at him, but he's 240K. I'd recommend you guys go scoop him up. Aikman's irrelevant. A guy like Lawrence Taylor, he's come down to 250K. If you wait today for 1030 when Legend Fantasy Packs drop, you'll probably get these guys for even cheaper. So keep that in mind. A guy like Alan Page is great too. Gail Sayers, he's great, but I wouldn't recommend it because like I said in my other video, if you compare him to Saquon Barkley, this Saquon powered up 89. Has only less by only four less speed, three less excel. He's better carrying, better catching, better trucking, better break tackle. And you have to remember that this isn't even his full card. When he gets his full 91 card, he'll have the same speed, the same if not better excel, better agility, way better carrying, way better carrying, way better catching, similar elusiveness, way better trucking, and way better break tackle. And Saquon's gonna get better camps and better uh, abilities and. Uh, x factor so saquon's gonna blow him out of the water so when that comes gail sayers will probably die in price even more he'll probably end up being in the low 200 range after legend saturdays and saquon barker coming out now another guy is like terrell owens at wide receiver 91 overall he's one of the best receivers in the game kind of underrated at this point he used to go he's still kind of expensive but again a guy like julio jones too is in a similar range now for me i wouldn't take the bait on brian dawkins although he does seem a lot cheaper than he once was this past few weeks i think that we have a sean taylor coming in the near future and sean taylor typically is a similar speed and a better hit power version of brian dawkins now this year they actually uh, buffed brian dawkins quite a bit because usually in the past they wouldn't give brian they'd give brian dawkins like an 88 hit power his first car like an 88 hit power and like an 87 zone he'd never get the zone threshold right away which is why when sean taylor came out and he had like the 96 hit power people would fly to him but this year they gave him a high hit power really good coverage stats besides his man so they made brian dawkins very similar which is why he's so expensive because he's literally sean taylor-esque on the eagles so i wouldn't say don't take the bait but again with champ bailey actually i say don't take the bait because although he's like an athletic corner with a 91 man 85 zone like he seems like he's it right now but you have to remember that whenever champ bailey drops everyone gets excited about this uber athletic cornerback coming out but then Deion sanders far comes right right after and then you don't have points for him so i'd probably wait for Deion and taylor for both these guys now like i said with their coin stack i would not i don't think it's a time to be selling i think it's a time to be buying i think it's a great time to be buying now if we go over to mud heroes like i said you can see here that prices are really cheap right now for mud heroes I've seen Jason Witten for as low as 160k. I don't know where his ass is right now. He was really cheap. Matthew Judon. If you're a theme team, that would be the great time to pick up guys like the Ravens, David Johnson for the Cardinals, Matt Stafford. These guys obviously aren't that great. David Johnson actually played phenomenal for me. He didn't feel insanely fast, but that's because I didn't have him powered up with Kems. With Kems and powered up, he'd probably be a monster. If you guys didn't see that gameplay I posted yesterday, unleashing the air raid offense, he played phenomenal. He had like 280 combined yards total. And then guys like, again, I don't really like a lot of these drops. They're really slow, slow, slow. Wagner's slow. Greg Olson is slow, but he's fast for a tight end, so I don't really mind that. 
I didn't really enjoy the first drop. I don't really care for any of the players from it besides the Castro and of course Greg Olson. But again, I'll probably end up selling Greg Olson at some point and I'll be selling Mitch Morris. Really, the Castro is the only guy I think that's worthwhile keeping. So for me, if you're gonna be buying, for what I'd recommend for your coins, if you're gonna be buying, buy Legends today on Legends Saturday that you think are well below their medium price point. And then I wait and save for the bigger banger drops of next week. If you don't already know, check out my content video I dropped yesterday going over all the Mutt heroes, all 32 players, and going over them. And I will make sure to be dropping a ranking video, guys, regarding who I think is the best players to choose, who are the best players in the promo. And you do get two fantasy packs. Remember, you don't just take one of my best options. You can take one, you, one of the best options, then one guy you just like. Or you can take two of the best options. There's a lot of ways to go with this. And I'm really excited that Madden actually gave us a chance to get two of them. Usually we barely kept one and we're getting two, so that's really cool. And then with that alone, I can get the two guys I want and come out of here with still a ton of coins. That was my concern, right? I was concerned that Mutt Heroes would eat up a bunch of our coins and then when most of it came out, we'd be broke. But since I give us two, you could literally not touch Mutt Heroes or coins, get your two free guys, and then just sit out. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my two packs and then sit out the rest of Mutt Heroes and just wait to most feared and then go right in on the most feared cards. Because I imagine we're probably getting like an Aaron Donald, an Alvin Kamara, maybe a Zeke, maybe a Mac. I'm really excited for all that. You guys, that is about it for the video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. We are about 700 subscribers away from 10K. I cannot wait for that day that we hit that. It's going to be a huge milestone for the channel and for our whole family and community. So thank you guys so much for all that. Turn on the noti bell. Don't forget, 600 likes to stay on any video. I will be giving 100K. All you got to do is like the video, comment down below, and hope we hit 600K. If we don't, I won't do this for a few more days, obviously. Sorry for that. I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta set goals. You know, 100K is a lot. I mean, I do have a lot of coins, but you guys get the point. So, if anything, I'll re-implement it probably next week or more towards most fear. But that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to check out the rest of those videos with the Noti Bell. And I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.